Hello, my name is Luana D'Amito, I'm the drummer for Crypta and today I'm here to share with you something kind of funny that happened to me while touring. I was with my previous band, Hervosa, and the thing is, when I'm too tired and touring, I usually don't know where I am. That's pretty common, but the problem was that in this specific day, I thought I was in Mexico for a long time, for, for maybe longer than it should. Well, in fact, we were going to a festival and when we got there, uh, I was exhausted, lost, as always. I didn't know where I was and it just popped in my mind. Like, of course, we're in Mexico. It's Mexico. I can feel it. I know it. I went on stage to see the other band sound check. It was almost time for us to sound check. And um, there were some people, quite, quite some people watching that band sound check. I was just staring at people and thinking, wow, I don't remember Mexican people being so pale and blonde and it's majority. That's kind of strange, but fine, let's keep going, whatever. Let's just enjoy the Mexican experience and not waste any time questioning. And went backstage to set up my stuff, uh, just sit down really for a moment. And as you can expect, in a festival, there's many flyers everywhere and information and things written everywhere, really. I was just trying hard to read what the flyer was saying. I was just like, man, this Spanish is looking trickier than ever. Like, I can't understand a single word. I don't know why, but this Spanish is just fucked up. I have never seen something like this, but it's just not it for me. I don't speak Spanish. I speak Portuguese, but especially when written. Spanish can look very similar to Portuguese, so I should understand something. I was just not understanding it, and um, that was kind of frustrating. I was just like, ah, whatever. People look very different from what I remember. The Spanish also looks very different from what I remember. It's just probably the area that we are. We're, we probably just never played in this area in Mexico. It's fine. Let's just enjoy, like I said earlier, and maybe wait for some tortillas and enchiladas and everything will be fine. Um, yeah, and I kept with that for almost the entire day. When it was time for us to, uh, to sound check, there was two guys like speaking and then I was just like trying to understand and, you know, still getting frustrated at the Spanish and stuff like that. And I was just like, dude, now I can now I understand everything. We're not in Mexico. We're in Germany. And then well, we're in Germany, right? Wrong. Turns out we were in Czech Republic. Um the bad thing is this is the second time that this happens. The first one was in my own country, Brazil. We were going to play in the north, which is pretty far from where I live, in the south. So to me, it's like a two days travel. I need to stop in the way and sleep and then take another flight to the north. And getting there, because I was exhausted, of course, always um, when I'm tired, I'm um, in Mexico. And in my mind, it just works like that. But differently from the episode in Czech Republic, where I could not understand what was written and I was frustrated at the Spanish, in Brazil, of course, of course, I could read everything in the streets and I was just so proud of myself. I'd be like, dude, I can understand everything. My Spanish got so much better. Like I can read everything. And at some point at the day, of course, I found that, that I was still in Brazil. I never, I never left the country. Yeah, this is my story. Um, I'm usually pretty lost on tour when fans come to me to ask uh, what's the next date and where where are you gonna play tomorrow? Don't even waste your time. Ask someone else in the band. I don't know really. I just play the drums. <laughs> so yeah, that that's that. I hope you enjoyed my story and see you on the road or perhaps in Mexico. Bye. <laughs>